Like, TMZ always report before the... It's weird. That's it's sick. But I ain't going to lie. It's getting to a sick point. I remember being a shorty, like, this type of... I used to want to work for TMZ. Like, damn, they be eating, they be on it. Like, yeah. that's, that's fine. Like, but now it's getting to a point where that's sick. But instead of TMZ, for real, niggas just send me Gucci page. They like, Gucci got the whole story. So, uh, what you think about the Pop Smoke shit, bro? Like, you want to open up, talk about it, or? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could talk about that. Um, I feel like for Pop Smoke and his situation, it was just really, like, a tragedy. Like, I know, like, with it being so many celebrity deaths back to back, it's like, now it's kind of in my nature with me even being in a journalism field, like, sort of say, um, it's like, it's like, it's always like my instinct to really try to figure out like what's going on. Like when Kobe Bryant yeah, died, right, right, right. it's like, man, it was so many, it was so much confusion. It's like now when something comes out, it's like, nah, it's always some, it's always another thought in my head. Like, nah, this shit ain't, this shit ain't what it is. That's why I'm, I'm still not over Juice World for real. Cause now it's getting to the point where it's like, I remember they were showing me uh, SoundCloud stuff. Well, you know, Juice World's from the crib, so. Yeah, he's from the crib. I remember like always hearing about dude, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really know who he was, but I knew, I got hella friends who went to HF, so I remember like people, used to, you know, them freestyle videos that we saw after his death, like, hell yeah. Them used, used to be going around. But it's getting to the point now where it's like, damn, bro, I just watched his artist blow up, like, from SoundCloud, you feel me, to you took Cole Bennett, now he's dead, you feel me? Like, same with Pop, like, you feel me? I remember the nigga was like, damn, this that, this that new New York wave, like, but it really was the Chicago wave, and then <laughs> niggas like, Pop Smoke, he, he, he owned this wave, but now you got Favio, you feel me? That's what I'm saying, like, Pop was really the martyr for them. Yeah. You got Favio, Smooth L, the whole New York shit about the blow, in my opinion, but to us, you feel me, it's really the recycle Chicago wave. Yeah. So how you feel about that? I mean, like, this is my angle on it. It's kind of crazy, because I feel for Pop Smoke, and I feel for so many people from New York, and especially, like, in that New York culture, because in Chicago, we deal with a lot of rappers in their prime dying. Like, you can go back to L.A. LA Capone, Capone, Young Pappy. You can go back to, uh, who else? Who uh, else? Uh, um, JoJo, I mean. JoJo, like, it's so many Chicago you know, rappers uh, who, that this happened to. He dropped to. a song this shit. It was uh, Chicago, Chicago Legends. Uh, what's F uh, FBG Duck. FBG Duck, yeah. yeah he dropped he a song was, on there, All Chicago Legends. It was, well, damn near 20, 15 to 20 names in that song. Look at her, her PTSD cover. He got 50 of his homies on there. And there's a lot of them rappers, like, you got to think yeah. Fredo on there, Juice Fredo, World Juice on there. Yeah. So it's like, in Chicago, we deal with this so much, like, rappers, people that we look up to dying. And it's like, I feel for New York people, because this really, like, I would say they first time, because, you know, Biggie was a big one. But it hasn't. Five years later, almost that's what I'm saying. Date. And it's like, it, it hasn't happened in so long. Like, you got so many New York artists that really live and can maneuver through the industry. But for a New York rapper, it hit. Like, I know High 97, a lot of a lot of people up there is like they they just had interviews he he was doing his rollout yeah, like he, I mean, his he rollout was coming ago. up so he was gonna be visiting all of these you know places like when you do your media rollout how you got to go to so many different places and it's like damn he, he don't even have a chance to do that yeah so shit um with uh which shit yeah nah it's like you yeah, got to nah, think back yeah. like fuck nah what the fuck is going on but um i'm talking about swipe nation now it's so shit, uh, back at, back to here in the AUC, back in Atlanta. I know you got uh, Swiper Nation. You have a Chicago chapter, and you got the Atlanta chapter. Yeah. Um, what's your next plans for that? How was All Star Weekend for y'all? Uh, All Star Weekend, we kind of took like a little, you know, back seat, but uh, okay. we actually um, I mean, did something CEO, with Scoop so. Era, so it's kind of like uh, he did his pop up. I kind of just endorsed it, and it's just because I know pe it was a lot of people in Chicago looking for moves that wasn't from Chicago. Like being in Atlanta, I met people from everywhere, so it's like I got so many people. I need somewhere for for them to go, you know, and to have an event that I trust, because you know in Chicago anything can happen. Right. So people look for us when you know they want a nice, safe move in Chicago that they know for sure is gonna be the way. So I made sure I partner up with Scoop, endorsed him. But other than that, you know, I was really proud for what they was doing in the city, because there's so many other promoters like Primo, E Man, Chicago Way, Chicago Functions. Um, and there's a lot of y'all, bro. If I ain't shot you off, I fuck with you. You feel me? I really fuck with you from the bottom of my heart. But I was just, you know, proud to see so many people that, you know, did they shit. Yeah. You feel me? They was eating out there. The people the was getting their money. Out. How did you, did you go home or not? No, nah, I ain't go home. I stayed. I, hey, shout out to Nisha Taylor and EZ and the Ezekiel Taylor Foundation because they did hook me up with some free tickets, but I ain't get a chance to go. So, you know, shout out to y'all still. Yeah, I ain't get a chance to go home. We go, It's in Indianapolis next year, so we can slide on. Yeah, nah. I said, <laughs> look, you better turn up. Okay. I'll see how you come. But, 
But um, as far as Chicago, what, what you think? The, what, what's next in the city as far as rappers? Or what you think is the next uh what, next wave? Or uh, for the next wave, of, um, Chicago rappers. There's a lot of people up next. Like it's a lot of people elevating because it's a whole bunch of rappers in the city right now that's on a local level. But I like what I want to go into is really saying rappers that I feel like it's gonna blow and be a uh, super industry. Like I feel like uh, Key, Mi Key Millie and Chemo right now they got a, a wave. Like I see them doing Rolling Loud. I see them doing a lot of different things. Just getting to that Polo G Cowboy level. But you got Gato coming up. You got OG Stevo, D Free. I, I've been working with D Free every day. He he actually you know working on his rollout right now. So it's it's a lot of different artists. Uh, they saying somebody named Romo. Romo, Lil Romo. Lil Romo. Nah, Lil like, Romo. I fuck with Lil Romo. They say he's hard. No, nah, I, I like Lil Romo. Uh, my boy Will showed me one of Romo songs. Um, yeah. It's definitely hard. He up next for sure. But since you don't ask me, you know I'm gonna get my input. We got my boy Stack Benji. Okay, yeah, yeah Stack Benji. Astro, that whole little camp over there. Um, but yeah, Romo too. Uh, folks showed me Romo about two three weeks ago. He, yeah, he that's why I'm like okay. He got he got his own style, so it was like I rock with that. Um, so shit, uh, there was a video uh, a couple weeks ago on Twitter. We saw um, Devontae Davis. Mm -hmm. you know, snatch up Shorty. Oh, he snatched Shorty up at the, uh, at the like a little intramural game or something. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my question is, would you fight Devontae Davis? Uh. Like street fight, or you mean like having yeah, the ring fight, ninety fight, yeah. seconds street fight? So right, the, right then in that moment, the way Twitter was making it seem is they wanted you to, you feel me, interrupt the, the scene. We'll put the scene in the video. Um, they wanted you to interrupt and kind of, you know, be the mediator right there. <laughs> but you feel me, Javante Davis. Is, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, ca I kind of fr fronted my move even thinking about that shit. Well, there's no way in hell I would get in the way of uh, whatever Javante Davis was doing. You feel me? I'll, that would be the time where I feel like it's the appropriate time. I don't condone this. Like, who finna get in front of that? You you can look at the slow motion videos when he hit somebody, it's like somebody skull jump out their head and then jump back in. Like the man's really beat people for a living. You think I'm finna risk my life <laughs> and be traumatized for the sake of whatever they got going on? Nah, I, that's the perfect time, man. You been there. So uh, how you feel about these albums coming out? We had Young Boy drop. And then you know we got Herb coming. Uh, yeah, nah. Uh, baby coming. Yeah, Cowboy dropped last night. Cowboy dropped too. Yeah, he did drop a little. Yeah, five yeah, EP, yeah, right? yeah. Cowboy dropped. Shout out Cowboy. He he so dropped. What you, what you looking for? Or what, what, what's, what got the best sound out right now? I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting into Cowboy song, uh, EP right now. He that song he got with Herb. That's uh, no wait. Matter of fact. It's, it's one song he got on there that's hard. I don't know if it's with Dirk or it's with her, but... Dirk, yeah, Dirk just announced that No Auto Dirk. Yeah, No Auto Metro. Dirk produced by how you, Metro. How you feel about that? Yeah, nah, that's that's going to be hard. Like, that's going to be what what I expect to be riding through Lakeshore Drive in the summertime in the city bump. No, I'm ready for that, but the only thing about it is I don't know how... How I feel about it being exclusively produced by Metro. Yeah, because it do I, get repetitive. I, I want some of them, you feel me, damn it, Young Child beats, or you feel me, some Victorious, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Dirk, but he gonna, Dirk gonna do his thing with regardless. Sure, yeah, no, so it's sure. just like. I feel like some, some little label work, I don't know. Yeah, it, it gotta be, because. cool, though. Yeah. Metro is a Morehouse, Morehouse former. <laughs> He's not a alum, but he a former. They say he, he, they still got his room. It's in Du Bois, yeah. Yeah, section off or something. No, it's not. They live. Nah, they, they section off no more. Nah, they was talking about they got it like you can't live in there or something. But look, Gucci, let me ask you these questions real quick. So, as far as you like your woman, you like them light skin, dark skin? Like, I choose. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, that's it. Like, nah. So it's, it's, I got a list of questions. I'm asking oh, all the money you do. You feel me? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, your tongue. I'll choose light skin. All right, Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Adidas or Nike? Nike. Floyd or Mike Tyson? Damn, Mike. Wait, wait. Which Mike you talking about? Prime Mike or Mike oh, right Mike now? Mike Oh, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike right, said uh, this ass Sasha Cubs. Socks or cuts? Socks. The baby or little baby? Little baby. Power or empire? <laughs> Power. <laughs> Flat for drums. Drums. Wait, wait, wait. Flat. Yeah, the drum. Baby. Yeah, the, the drum. All right, so that. Yeah, drum. Glock or Smith Weapon? Glocky. <laughs> the Glock. Would you, would you prefer a wig or a sewing? If the braids is fresh under the under the wig, I take the wig. Take the wig the braids is so fresh, take it out. You know, if you uh, don't have your wig on for like, you right, know. These, these next two is crucial, so we are gonna do them in order. 
Jay or Kanye? Kanye. Okay, me too. I'm choosing Kanye West. Every time West. I'm choosing Kanye or Mari West. But look, Biggie or Pac? Pac. I'm going with Pac. I'm going, I'm going with Pac just because he he got that soul with it. Like you can, you ain't gonna find that any in any other artist. It's rare. You but feel? you gotta look at how Biggie came with Biggie his, his delivery and, and how he influenced the game like that. So look, since talking about historic rap, we're gonna go into the book. Uh, it's the Chuck D book we pull out every Shout episode out Chuck D. of explicit content. So today day we got February um twenty second. That's what we're going to go off today. All right, February 22nd. Um, it's Common and John Legend win an Oscar for Best Original Song okay. on that song, Glory. I know Common has had a little impact on your life, and then you feel me? I want to talk about this in general, uh, how you feel about, you know, these two black men winning an Oscar. That's that's not every day. So that's yeah. important. Uh, if you're going to give some comment on that. I, I, I want to say shout out John Legend first just because, like, I don't know him personally, but he, he do his thing, and he got a nice little piece next to him, too. But no, um, shout out Chrissy Teigen, yeah. But, um... As far as Common, I feel like this is well deserved. Like um, for him, shout out Common, shout out Common Ground Foundation. But I feel like um, this is something that's like huge, just because uh, it's kind of like opening the doors, bro. Like he opened the door that that much more. You feel me? So it's like I, I know several artists now feel like that's something obtainable, obtainable for them. And I know I feel like that shit. I feel like every day I wake up, I feel blessed. You feel me? Just off, you feel me? The people that I've met in my life and uh, the experience I had meeting people like you, meeting people like Aisha, and uh, shit, for that, going back to um, what he did and, you know, uh, winning that, um, shit, I feel like that shit well deserved. He put on for the city. Like, man, that, that award wasn't just for him, but I feel like that award was just for me and you, too. Right, so what exactly is Common Ground? Common Ground is an organization uh, founded and sponsored by Common, and uh, it was put together by his mom, uh, Dr. Hines. She sit on the Board of Education. And it's a lot of people, yeah, it's a lot of people involved, Carl Kemp, he sit on the board. Uh, um, we got doctors, people that do like all types of so things. So you was a member of Common Ground? Yeah, right? I was a member, a member and alumni. I, okay. I was part of the first ever class. Okay, so Common how Ground did that Foundation. shape you or you feel me, build your coming to the AUC and Clark? I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of my network from them. Like, you feel me, it was a lot of people that was pulling a lot of streets. Back on and yeah, and sure. I, I ran into so many people. That's how I met Khalil. Okay. From the uh, yeah. the movie Beats, the movie, yeah. I met him through Common Ground. Uh, a lot of people I do business with, I met through that. So it's like that's a that's like a power. Like that is like if you want to be up and coming. Yeah, I was gonna say how, like, how can you get involved in Common Ground? You they do applications. It, you start in high school, right? So, so they do applications. Grade, but yeah. if you want to even come back, like you feel me, it's it's a little shorty who probably DJ and it was a dude named Jalen who DJ so, and you feel so me. That'll it, that'll just put. If like, y'all want to get in Common Ground, I would just say reach out to Goose. <laughs> yeah, he can he can help. I'm just not. I guarantee, but he can help you. Try yeah, to do there. something, yeah, um, but nah, man. Yeah, that shit, that shit was lit, too, man. So, what's next for you, Gucci? What's, uh, you know, you senior Clark, right? Yeah, so senior Clark, um... The Gucci nader. <laughs> next is the Swiping Nation takeoff, or? Yeah, the Swiping Nation takeoff. So, we just released our first shirt, um, actually re-released, the Swiper Die tee, and we also got a Swiper Live tee. It's, uh, the black tee and the white tee oh, with the <laughs> original, uh, Swiper Nation logo. Look, look, before the record, I never knew was a die or live tea, but I figured the white was gonna be live. And yeah, <laughs> oh god, that. yeah. So it's crazy, yeah, nah, that shit. That's just how it was marketed. But I mean, shit, that that's what we got right now. Really, just elevating the brand. Uh, I actually got my social media certification. Well, who's sweet? So uh, I'm gonna be trying to build my portfolio personally. Also build the brand. The brand. Um, actually, it's a possibility we're gonna be going to Miami. But if not, we 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 putting like our top priority is making a super lit spring break event for the crib. So we gonna do that, something big for Chicago and make sure that that shit is super lit and then, uh... That's something that ain't been done before now. Yeah, I'm it has been. Back in my head, I'm like, ain't nobody took, took yeah, ain't spring nobody, break back to Chicago. That's what I'm saying. It's just gonna be one one specific event, but when I tell you, like, we gonna make sure that that's, like, top of the line. It's not, it's like, you Hitting gonna... Heroes on crack type. <laughs> Hitting and Heroes on crack, man. I think we on Hitting and Heroes 6. Oh, no, nah, Hitting and Heroes 5. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the foes the last Yeah, foes the last. Henny Heroes 5. I'm moving too fast. Yeah, Henny Heroes 5. We saving that one for the summer. The summertime, oh, Henny yeah. Heroes 5. <laughs> I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Yeah, all right, my boy. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. All right, bro. I appreciate you for having me.